The web browser version of BandLab has now been updated, so it's now got auto pitch that is exactly the same as the BandLab mobile version, which means if we go down the bottom of the screen here and tap on the auto pitch tab, now you'll see not only do we have the auto pitch here, but the new gimmicks, I call them, which are basically harmony effects have been added to the auto pitch. So it looks exactly the same as, or rather works exactly the same way as the mobile version, although it's slightly set out slightly differently. So if we look here, we've got this toggle switch here. And if we press on that, that turns the auto pitch on and off. But also if this knob here, which is the auto pitch knob is on zero, the auto pitch is also switched off. So if I play that now. Set your heart upon the sea. We can see that the auto pitch is not on at all. Now the first thing uh, to look at on the auto pitch is this section here. And this is where we set the note scale. It's here D major at the moment. And you'll see that this note here is in white, noting that that is the root of the scale. And these notes here are all highlighted in white because they are the notes of the scale. So if you want to change that, you click on this section here, it says D major on mine. And this menu comes up and you'll see that the D here is highlighted because we're in D major and it's in this section here called major. We've got all the notes here. And if I was to click on D here, that would make it D minor because that's in this group that's under minor. And you'll see down here now it says D minor. Now on the mobile version, you have something called chromatic and on here it's basically called all notes. So if you click on all notes, then the auto pitch will auto pitch to all the notes, not to a scale or effectively to the chromatic scale. And you'll notice also here, we've got this one here, this is project key. And that is because the project itself has a key scale and that's up here. And you'll see that it says a major. So if I go down here and I click on a in the major section here, yeah, you'll see down here now it says project key. So when this section is set to the same key as the project, here it says project key. And you can see there's my root A, and these are the notes highlighted in white, which are the notes in the key. Now, if you don't know what key your vocals are in, then you can click on that section there and go up here to all notes. So you've got all the notes selected. And then if you play your song, you'll see that these notes will light up. So if I play that now. Set your heart upon the sea. So you can see these notes lighted up with a blue circle around the outside of them. And they were the notes that I was singing. And apart from this one here, which was me going slightly off scale, they all fitted to the project key. Now it's also worth noting that those notes also fitted the D major scale because I wasn't singing every single note from the scale. But I'm going to set it to the project key. So now that I've got my auto pitch set up to the right key scale for my vocals, I can turn the auto pitch on. And I do that by using this knob here and I just press on it and drag up. And I usually like about 70% and then I can play that. Set your heart upon the sea. And you'll notice now that when it plays, these notes light up, but it, this one here, which was lighting up when it was on all notes now doesn't light up at all because it's been auto pitched back to one of these notes. And then finally we come onto this section here, which are basically harmonic effects that you can add to your vocals. 
Now the first one here, which is highlighted white, says classic. Basically, that's how auto pitch used to be. That is with no effects. So you on classic, you've just got the auto pitch as it was before this section was added. And then we've got one, two, three, four of these effects added. And we've got this one here, which is duet. And if I click on duet, you'll notice the image here changes. And what will happen this time is it will play your vocals and it will play a copy of your vocals, a duplicate if you like, at a higher pitch than your normal vocals. So you get this duet effect. And the next one down from that is this modern rap. Now modern rap is basically the opposite of duet in as much as it plays a duplicate track of your vocals, but this is pitched below your vocals. Next up, we've got this big harmony over here. If you click on this one, this highlights up, there's big harmony. You get this blue color around the knob now, sorry, purple color around the knob now. And that adds two duplicates of your vocals. And one is pitched higher than your vocals and one is pitched lower than your vocals. So it's effectively duet and modern rap combined. And finally, we've got this robot one. So basically when people sing, their vocals go slightly undulate up and down around the note rather than staying perfectly flat. And what this robot effect does is smooths that out. So it's much more like um, the note being played by a keyboard than by a human voice. So you get this flatter sound when you play your vocals through the auto pitch. Now it's important to notice here that the amount of auto pitch or the percentage amount that is set on this auto pitch knob doesn't affect these harmonic effects at all. So if I've set this to zero and then I click on duet, you'll see that the duet still plays, but neither the original vocals or the duet will be auto pitched. So you can use the effect without the auto pitch if you want to, but moving the dial on this knob makes no difference to the harmonic effect. It only increases the amount of auto pitch. And once you've set your settings, and you've got it how you like, and then you could just press on the auto pitch tab down here to close the auto pitch window. And that basically is auto pitch with harmony.